My name is Elegas Mumbalju from Leuven University. I am presenting this podcast on behalf of my colleagues Marie Grace de la Peña, Els Ortibus, Jim Molenaars, Jan de Klerk and Hilde Fees. Our paper in the June 2017 issue of Developmental Medicine and Child Neurology is a study of functional outcomes in children and young people with dyskinetic CP. We know that dyskinetic CP is the second largest group after spastic CP and is characterized by dystonia and choreathetosis. Dystonia is often more pronounced and severe than choreathetosis with a major impact on functioning, quality of life and societal participation. Management is challenging and good overview of functional abilities is necessary. Functional classification systems play an important role towards prognostification, goal setting and management planning. The most used classification systems are the GMFCS, the MAX and the CFCS. The Eating and Drinking Ability Classification System or EDEX and the Viking Speech Scale or VSS are two newer scales and were never used before in this kinetic CP. We set up this study based upon several needs. First, there are large differences between CP types. Findings in spastic CP population cannot be generalized to dyskinetic forms. Therefore, we need specific dyskinetic CP studies. Second, dyskinetic CP is one of the most severe forms of CP with high impact on functional activities. Therefore, we need a comprehensive functional profile. And third, dystonia and choreothetosis are distinct movement disorders. And therefore, we need to discriminate the impact of dystonia and choreothetosis on functional activities. Based on these needs, the objectives of this study were 1. To map the functional profile of individuals with DCP over GMFCS, MAX, CFCS, EDEX and Viking scale. 2. To determine interrelationship between functional classification scales. And 3. To investigate the relationship between dystonia and choreothetosis and functional abilities for children and young people. Here are some highlights of the results. 1. For functional profile we found that over 50% of the participants exhibited the highest limitations levels in GMFCS, MAX and Viking speech scale. Better functional abilities were seen in EDEX and CFCS. 2. We found a moderate to excellent relationship between functional classification scales. And 3. There was significant relationship between dystonia and classification scales, except for the CFCS. For choreothetosis, there was no relationship with classification scales except for the MAX and EDAX at older age. For detailed information and discussion, we refer to the paper and wish you a good implementation in clinical practice.